Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video I will show you how to install Vault Warden, formerly known as Bitwarden RS. Vault Warden is an implementation of the Bitwarden API in a Rust program that also runs in a Docker container. I definitely recommend checking out our blog post which will be linked in the description. There you will find a step-by-step -step guide as well as all used commands. Before you set up your Vault Warden instance you'll need to consider whether you're running it only on a virtual machine or for other purposes. In this video we will cover Vault Warden, which is suitable for people who want to run other things, for example WordPress, on the same server. If you want to know how to set up a standalone Bitwarden instance on your server, check out the video description. There you will find a link to the other video. Requirements In order to install Vault Warden you need root access to a server with a Linux based operating system on it as well as a domain already connected to your server. In this video our VPS MSSD runs Debian 10. Some commands may vary on different operating systems. Step 1. Install Docker and other programs. Before we can continue with the actual installation of Vault Warden we need to prepare our system first. The final Vault Warden instance will be running in a Docker container, so we need to install Docker, Docker Compose, as well as some other programs. This can be done with this single command. Step 2. Create a virtual host. To tell our web server which port World Warden is running on, we need to create a virtual host. This config can be created with this command. Now we need to paste in the following content. You can find this template in our blog post. Now I just need to replace the domain placeholder with my domain. I will save the document with Ctrl plus O and exit the editor with Ctrl plus X. Now let's activate our config with this command. Step 3. Activate required modules. For Vault Warden to work properly, additional modules need to be activated. With this command all of them will be activated at once. For all changes to take effect we need to restart our whole web server with this command. Step 4. Installing an SSL certificate. To make data transfer and login more secure, I will install an SSL certificate. For this I will use CertBot. With this method you can generate free certificates which are valid for 90 days. Just run the program with this command and select your domain by typing in the matching number. Choose 2 in the next menu to auto redirect. Step 5. Download and run World Warden. Now that our server is fully prepared, we can finally download World Warden and run it. To do so, let's start by downloading the latest World Warden version to our server with this command. Now we can start the Docker container with this complicated looking command. As you can see, Vault Warden runs on port 8081. If you want to choose a different port, just change it in the used command. Step 6. Create an account. Now your Vault Warden instance is set up and running. Enter your domain in the URL bar of your browser. And start with creating an account. Congrats! Now you can start with populating your self-hosted Vault Warden instance with your account details. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any further tutorials.